Alright, this is Matt, and I'm going to be making a new tutorial for you. And this is how to create a mute, uh, dynamic mute button for use in a Flash website or game. Uh, anything using sound. So, what we're going to do is create our button first. I'm just going to use um, a black box. And now we'll just select it and convert it to a movie uh, symbol. Select the button and set the registration point to center. And we'll just call it BTN, shorthand for button. And now we'll create create our slash graphic. I'm just going to use a red slash. And we'll convert that to a movie clip. Select it. Press F8. And get our slash off the stage. All right. Now. Now we're going to do the action script. So make sure you're in actions frame. And, um, alright, we're going to need a new variable of sound, which indicates whether or not sound is on. So var sound equals 1. And now we create a new variable slash mc, which we attach uh, movie clip to underscore root dot attach movie. And we have three parameters, which is the ID name, which is the linkage property name. So we haven't defined that yet. So I'll put this to the side. Right click our um, slash in the library. Go to linkage, export fraction script, and the identifier set to slash. So now that is our um, identifier. So type in slash, close parentheses, next parameter is the instance name for this um for slash mc so slash a one and set the depth to 99 and now just make it invisible by slash o one which was the identify um the instance name dot underscore visible equals false and now we just set it over our button just set the X and Y positions equal. Make sure that your uh, registration points of both are in the center. If you don't know what a registration point is, it is the um, the little point. If you select it and you go to um, you could see the little dot in the center that you move around. Just uh, make sure that's in the middle for both of them. When you convert something you could set a registration point um, to like either like the corners or the edges. So when you do that, just uh, set it to the edge. Just cancel that. I was just using that as an example. So we are in our actions. We just centered the slash, made it invisible. Now um, we create a new variable um, var s and then a colon to uh, set our data type that a type of sound equals new sound so we've just created a new object of sound uh, called, named s so now s dot attach sound my um, we haven't I uh, brought in a sound yet so we we'll go file import import to library and uh, gravy now we'll just uh, set our linkage properties to gravy so we could call it an action script now s dot attach sound gravy And now we start playing the sound. Remember, by um, sound equals one, so we want by default it to be on. Now we have our button. Give it the instance name of BTN. Now we go BTN dot on press 
equals function and the function inside these curly brackets is going to happen when the instance of btn which is our button here is pressed so now we want to make sure um, depending on whether or not sound is on we want to perform different actions so if sound equals equals one make sure you don't use one equals because one equal sign is a mathematical operator and equals equals is a logical operator and you want to make sure if sound um, is equal to one you don't want to set sound equal to one you're just checking and new set of curly brackets for a new um, function in an if statement and just set the volume um, s dot set volume and we have one parameter of volume between one and a hundred in uh, percent and we'll set it to zero since we want if it's on we want to turn it off slash a one dot underscore visible equals true so we want to make the uh, slash visible and then set sound to zero and um, all right now else if sound equals equals zero open curly bracket and now we're just checking to see if sound is off and the reason we use an else if statement was because if we use an if statement here um, if sound equaled one um, the following statement would uh, the function would pass and then go down to the next statement and then it would also pass so it would turn itself on and then immediately back on um, off and then immediately back on so we're going to use an else if statement sits down to one make our thing uh, slash visible since we have sound on and set volume to 100 alright alright that's set volume not underscore set volume and export and we have our music playing click it we get the slash it's not playing and that's how you make a mute button uh, I hope you learn from this tutorial and stay tuned